and welcome, welcome, welcome to Mondo Market TV. This is Crafting with Shalin today. This is cool. This is our first show here with Shalin. <laughs> She's going to be live with us every Monday with her show, Crafting with Shalin. And we're super excited because each time she's going to bring you some amazing mm -hmm. things for you to do. So, Shalin, New welcome. Stuff. Thank yes. you. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, so tell us, I, I want you to tell them a little bit about you and, and why we're here. And by the way, don't forget that this is an interactive broadcast. So if you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, send them my way. Text them. I will, re I will send, relay them over to Shalin and she will answer directly to you. So do that Excellent. and don't forget to share. Post on Facebook, let your friends know that we're live, just spread the word. MondoMarketTV.com is the best experience, the best place for you to watch. There's the video and the chat right below it and you can type it in there. But we are also monitoring Facebook and YouTube as well. So wherever you, you're most comfortable, watch there and don't forget to share. All right, so tell awesome. me a little bit about you, Shalyn. Well, I have been crafting for about 35 years, so wow. a long time. Um, I've done from paper to fabric to florals to wood, um, you name it, I've done it. And so I'm really excited to be able to teach these classes because, or demo all this stuff because this is going to be a lot of fun because you can actually buy a kit and create exactly what I created, exactly the same. So it's really exciting that we have these at our, you know, our fingertips that you can just order and, and get. So let's get started. Let's do it. So today All we're right. going to do paper succulents, yes? Paper succulents. And if you'll just hand me that little succulent right there. Ooh, this, this That this one right guy? there. Yep. So this little guy, I mean, he's cute. He's really cute. It's just a baby succulent. And this one is for... Um, like we've got a little uh, garden box over there that has dirt in it. It's just, it's just adorable. Easy to make, very easy to make. Anybody can make this at home. So Nash and I are going to oh make these for you. So I'm going to hand you these, Nash. Oh boy. I know. I this mean, if I learn. can do it, and we're going to see if I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Everybody can do this. This is very easy. So we have three different um, sizes to choose from. Okay. So on the succulent, you're gonna want to... And what are we dealing with? This, you've got some cardstock paper? This is just cardstock paper. Okay. And they're different weights. So this one is smooth. So this one has a smooth texture to it. But this one, it has a rough texture. So you can use either or. So if you want a more uh, vintage, rustic look, Get the, the cardstock that's heavier so that you can end up sanding it. You can do a lot more with it. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you how to use these, these little metal templates. These are amazing. These are a lot of fun. They're easy to use. And when I say easy, I promise this is easy. So I have a big kick here from Sizzix. And I'm just going to show you how fast it is. So you put a strip of the cardboard in the middle there right and your dies in the and, in, on the paper right and I actually what I do is when I do this I scoot as many of them as possible together because Maximize. yes use as much as your paper as you can don't don't make big gaps in there because then you can make more um, cuts but it saves you money too I mean if you have all those scraps left over you don't want to have to to have them so I've just sandwiched them so that looks just like a sandwich okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on our little tray right here. And I'm just going to push it a little bit. And then we just start rolling. And um, sometimes if your cardstock is a little bit heavier, you're going to have to do it twice. So just be aware that if you have heavy, heavier cardstock, you're going to need to have to have at least it go through a couple of times to make sure you have a clean cut. Clean cuts are important because if you don't, you'll have white edges and it kind of looks tacky. So here you go. You have. So that was all. All you had it. to do, it's incredible. And now that's you it. have the beautiful little shape there. Yep. And I just use, I, um, this will sound really fun. So I just went to the uh, craft store and in the jewelry department, mm. I bought these little tiny tools. And they're all for sanding. They're all for grinding things down and sanding. They are perfect for crafts. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sharp one. When I get my little metal template, it's not gonna cut me, so you don't have to worry about being cut. And I'm just gonna push the paper right through. 
And there you go. And that's it. That's one of the piece. So when you get your packet. And here we go. Let me, do you mind if I yes. show them? So which die did I use for this right here? So you use this. We use this one right there. So there we go. You have the die and the paper. And you can see it here. Yes. And this is what you did. You put it mm -hmm. in through there. And you had super quickly. It's and now fast. You have a beautiful shape. And you don't have to mess with trying to cut it with no. scissors or anything like no that. No scissors. Super easy. And if you. If you're really good at the, the Sizzix machine, the Big Kick, um, you can actually fold your paper in half and you can double it. So, but learn how your machine works first before you do that. But um, I usually just fold my paper right in half, put the dies on, and then when you roll it through, that literally gives you two of everything. So that's what we did for the succulents. Easy, fast, you'll love it. So now I'm going to show, show you how to do this. So I'm going to give you this little red tool. Ah, oh, now these are cool. These are like, I are they know. diamond files? I, you know, I'm not sure. It just said jewelry file on it. And I was so excited because so I was like, convenient. Woo yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't as expensive as the things in the store that have a brand name. So I'm, I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to buy a brand name. Yes. So I'm going to do a two-toned succulent. You're going to do a one-tone. Okay. So, you're going to take your big ones first. All right. And you're going to need 10. So, you're going to take the end of your little tool and just go like that. Oh, Curl it right it over little. the edge and just bend. There you go. Oh, nice. That's it. Now, so, I, I could use chopsticks if I don't have these tools at home? Absolutely. Or you could use a skewer. Okay, perfect. So, you know, whatever you have at home, a pencil. The pencil might be a little bit big. So try and get something that's just a little bit smaller. So we're going to do 10 of these. Okay. So we're going to whip through them really quick. And the good thing about the cutouts is, you know, once you get them cut out and they're crisp and clean and you, you know, you get them all, all curved and everything, the process to putting them together is really fast. So um, I would suggest to cut all of your pieces out first. Get as many. So if you're going to do... 10 succulents, um, you're going to have to have at least 100 of the little pieces for to do 10. Okay. See, look how good you're doing. Yeah. Crafting's easy. Crafting is, you can't really do it wrong. That's the great thing about crafting is because you can follow my instructions, but when you buy a kit and do it yourself, you add your own personal touch to it. And that is what's so important is it's, your personal touch, not a generic, you know, pattern like I do. It becomes doing. an expression of you. It, it does. It really does. And what's really cool about it is handmade gifts are awesome. I mean, I love handmade gifts. I love making things. Um, over the years, uh, my father is a woodworker, and he would give us handmade gifts for Christmas, and I always felt like that was really, really amazing that, you know, he would spend that time to do that for me. So six, so we have almost 10. Oh my gosh, you're doing great. Okay, so on the second size, because you have three sizes, we need to curl the next ones. Okay. So put aside what you know we have for here, and we're gonna do the little ones. And we curl those? We're gonna curl those, and we're gonna do the 10 same of those. way. Yep, exact same way. When the littler ones, if you have a if you have like a, oh, like a smaller, even a makeup brush, you can curve these too if you don't, if your pencil's too big, because you don't want them all bendy, because then they wouldn't look very good. Now, I noticed that the die makes a beautiful little, um, uh, like an imprint. Imprint on the paper. Yes. So when I'm rolling yes. these, mm -hmm. which side do I want the paper? Which side do I want to roll? The imprint on the outside or on the inside? Do you know what? It really doesn't matter. Um, the inside will have a sheen to it. The okay. outside, um, like the back part of it, is has more of a matte finish. So I, I like them both gotcha. because for me it gives it depth, and I I don't want these to be perfect and and. So magical. I want them to have character. 
Well, also because we're creating succulents, which are seen in nature, and nature yes. is beautiful for its imperfections. Very much so. And succulents right now are really hot in the wedding industry, in home decor, um, just about anything. So, you know, when you buy these succulent kits, you are going to love how they turn out and, and how they look in your home. Because if you're in an area where it snows a lot, like here, um, sometimes it's nice to look at something that's just a little bit more springy or something that has a little bit of more of a nature feel to it. So um, now how are you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, you are doing so good. <laughs> now see, while we're sitting here chatting, you could have your friends over, you could buy these kits, pop them all out, you know, get them all cut out, and then sit and talk about what's going on in the world or kids or whatever. And you could start creating so many beautiful things. And it's pretty relaxing too. It is, it really is. It's a lot of fun. And when you start um, finishing up projects that you've done, you, you're just gonna be so proud of yourself. And um, I'm, I love this for three reasons. I love nature. I love things that are new and different. And I just love the fact that, you know, you can cut out anything you want on these, these big kicks and start creating. And it's so quick. So you spend yes. very little time prepping and the majority of your time just creating beautiful things. Yes. That's the ease about crafting. Um, it's, it's all about the level of your comfort. So the more you craft, the, the better you get, obviously. It's like riding a bike. But what's really fascinating is if you have an artistic eye and you are like, oh, I'm sorry, we need to curl those too. So I curl the, just the curl big the edge of it. Yes, the big edge of it. So right there. Okay. So as I say, and if you have an artistic eye and you look at colors and you decide that you love the pattern, but you're gonna change that color to match your decor, you can, it's easy. It's very simple, so. Let's do five of these. Okay. And then um, when we glue them, I'm gonna show you what the difference is between Whoops. glue and hot glue. Oh. Yes. Because when you're using regular glue, and I'll do the regular glue, do you okay. wanna do the hot glue? Uh, you can do the hot glue. Okay, then I'll have you do regular glue. Okay. All right, so you've got your five. These are your extra. Yes. Okay, so let's just move all these out of the way. Okay. So we're gonna clean up our station first, and I have to say that when you clean up your station, you don't get things messed up into each other, and um, I don't know, cleanliness with crafting is kind of like, you know, ironic, but, but it works. So and don't forget, if you have any questions, any comments during this broadcast, yes. send them in. Please send them in. We, I'd love to chat with you and answer questions. So we're going to put these big, big ones. Okay. So we've got five right here. Um, you can put them on the end of a, a skewer or something to that effect. So you can put them like this. And I'll give you a skewer if you want to do this. Okay. But I'm going to do the hot glue. So there's a thing that um, these, uh, there are some ladies that I worked with in a craft store one time. We were uh, the ladies who made the displays. I do things the Shea way. So there are instructions and then there are ways to do it just a little bit easier. So I'm going to take, so open your glue. Okay. So I'm going to start with a little bit of hot glue right here. And I want you to glue that end right there. So all I'm doing is putting the glue, just a good amount or a lot? Or? Um, just that's pretty good right there. Okay. And we're gonna glue them together. So we're gonna go around in a circle. Okay. So we're gonna do three. I've actually got one extra, but. So we're gonna just glue, glue, glue. And the cool thing about hot glue is it's instant. So when we start putting stuff together, I think I will use six on this one. Um, instructions are great, and I love the instructions because they give you a base. But if you decide you want to do something else, like I'm doing a totally different bottom color than I am doing an upper, the upper colors. So I have my base 
completely finished right there. And it's solid, so nothing's gonna come apart. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to, can I go a little faster than you? <laughs> go okay. for it. But you're doing great. I got a little distracted. You're doing great. But see, the regular glue, you have to have you patience have to with regular glue. It. Yes. You're going to try and make it so that um, you've got to keep everything in one spot. Hot glue, look, it's instant. But some people don't like hot glue, and that's totally understandable. But I'm going to keep putting these little tiny so ones. So once I finish the, the circle with the big one, I go and start in with yes. the little ones. Yes, so start your little ones. And if you decide that 10 is too much, don't put 10 in. You can do 8. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to keep, and hot glue has these great threads on them that will pick up everything. So, you know, kind of be aware of that. And um, I would use a high temperature glue, not a lower temperature, because sometimes it doesn't stick to the paper very well. So I am a total hot glue fanatic. I can hot glue pants together. So <laughs> I, am, I love hot glue. They have all kinds. And if you want to be really um, decorative with this, they have hot glue that's got glitter in it. So if you really? want to do a little bit of um, dots on the inside, can. you can get hot glue with glitter. But the problem with that is if you're going to use hot glue with glitter, make sure that the glue gun that you're using only uses the glitter because it will stay in your glue gun. So I am almost to the edge of mine. And you're doing great. No, she's just saying that for moral support. No, really, you are, because you're doing it with glue, and glue takes a little bit longer. But if I, you see... I skipped a step, though. That's Have okay. You but you're making a baby one, too. And that's you can put little baby ones in different um, containers. They don't all have to be the same size. It's just like, you know, when you get a bag of French fries, they're not all the same size. So I'm going to keep just whipping this in really quick. And like I say, if you've got all the steps done and you're with a bunch of women and you're making these, it will go by really fast. And um, you can make, well, I could make about 25 of these in an hour after I've cut them out. So, um, you know, you got to determine how many you're going to want to make and then just cut that out in that angle. So I'm just going to do a couple more right here and then this will be finished. And cordless glue guns are amazing. So that's probably another investment you would want to get into. So once that's all dried, which is with a hot glue gun, it's pretty instant, you have your succulent. And just move your little pieces inward, just like this. And don't be afraid because the paper's not going to rip, but it will pop off if you push too hard. So there is your little baby succulent. Just like that. And this one's two-toned. So if you see the colors, there's the two blues in there. Oh, I see. Cute. Very cute. So that is the succulents. And if I can have you put those over there. Wonderful. That Here's would be another awesome. Shot just for you to see the two different ones. So we have, look, oh, so pretty. Blue, purples, greens. Um, when you buy your paper, you can buy them in packets that Here's have a lot of different colors, too. So. Don't be afraid to, to step out and do colors that and you You just get to you eat, quickly cut them with this wonderful dye and then. Quickly. And then you just assemble them and really have a blast. Yes. So, by the way, you guys, if you haven't checked it out yet, mondomarkettv.com is where you go. And we have these amazing dyes for you on sale during the next 24 hours. I take a look at the succulents dye kit. Um, great deal. It'll come with all of the dyes that you'll see in action here today. This is just the first demo, uh, but you can see already so how all the things that you can do uh, just with this one dye that we, that we saw creating beautiful, beautiful um, little plants. So uh, <laughs> check it out. Uh, MondoMarketTV.com is where you go, and it's the succulents dye kit. It includes the Barrow Cactus 3D, which you're going to see, uh, the 2D and 3D succulents, the Sizzic Thinlets, uh, Geometric Holder, and the Wreath dye. And you're going to see all of this in action today. You're going to love this. Yes, you will. <laughs> you're going to love this. So next project. 
And for time's sake, I actually um, glued this first, but I'm gonna show you how to put them together. Perfect. So here are your dies. And um, I'm not gonna cut these out, I'm just gonna show you what these are right here. So there's just one piece. Okay. And then the little flower piece. That's it. And the process of cutting is the same. You put it same on the strip process. of paper to maximize your space. Yes. You roll it through the machine. Yes. And then you get the pieces. And if you fold it in half, like I said, you can get double. Ooh. So, you know, to save a little bit of time, that's probably what you want to do. If you're comfortable with it on your machine. If not, that's okay. So I'm going to show you that um, these are the little pieces that I cut out from this this die. So they're just like this. And what we're going to do is on this die, when it's cut out, on the back here, there is a little slit that'll be in your paper. My suggestion is, again, take a sharp tool, something that you have, there's the slit, poke a hole through it because they're a little tight. And so you want to make sure that you're going to be able to get the pieces in. Okay, here's the trick. All right, what's the trick? So you're gonna take Ooh. each piece. Okay. Did you see that? Can we do that once more? Yes. On super close up so that you can see. Super close up. So let me pull this off. Let's see. Okay, so you have two pieces. Okay. You're gonna take the top piece, put it right into the slit. So make sure all your pieces that you're putting into that slit have that hole poked in them or they're really hard to get in and, and then you have to bend your paper and it is kind of a pain. Gotcha. So at least, you know, put that little slit in first and you should be fine. Um, second, you're gonna do 10 of these. So 10 little... You mind, can I show them one just yes. over here? And then just to see even if I can do this. Yes. So you so have... So take it apart. Let me take it apart first. So right. you're gonna have the paper here. Yes. Um, on the super close-up. And then you basically, you cut that little slit and you just push it through. And push it through. And you can see on both sides how it looks right there. And it moves. Yes. Now, the trick I found for this, because it took me a few days to, to master this, because I was a little... Because oh, you didn't have this. You I know, have, I didn't have a you. class to teach me. <laughs> so, so what I did was I put them all together, just like okay. this. But if you notice, this isn't coming apart because I hot glued it. Okay. So I hot glued it in, inside first in a few of the pieces. And then what I did was on this outer piece, I just hot glued it in a few places. For me, that is easy because now it's not gonna fall apart. Every time I put it together, I kept having it fall apart. And so I was a little bit concerned with, um, I didn't want to keep doing that and then, and then losing the structure of it. Gotcha. So, so the same process of what we did before, you have all your yeah. pieces and you put them together and then you started putting yep. them all the way around. So you have 10 complete pieces. So there's going to be five on each side and you're going to put them all the way around and it's going to form a circle. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to fold this. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with the middle pieces. That was the easiest for me, was the middle. And hook them together. So it's kind of like grade school, when you were in grade school and you, you um, were able to put little cards and that together, kind of like a pop-up card. This is the same concept. So we're gonna put those two together. I'm gonna pull from the sides. You wanna try this? Sure, you can. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. So I'm gonna pull from the side and just hook. And if you saw that, oh. I'm going to just hook underneath. So here, just for you to see, you right. pull from the side and then... And hook. Hook. And you've got the middle two pieces. Okay. Perfect. And then you move on to the... Which and one? then do opposite sides. So go opposite side oh. and do those two. So what you're doing is you're trying to create um, like a small flower on the top. It's just a little gathering flower. Okay. So I'm going to take the next piece. Very cool. And I'm just, I'm just gonna do this all the way around. Very easy, very, very easy. So see what I have so far, I, I have that swirl. And I'm gonna keep doing this. And you always just go for the opposites. I go for the opposite side. And remember when you're playing with this, it's okay, because the paper is not gonna break. 
um, but it will come apart if you push hard. If you don't glue it, I guarantee you these, I had several that fell apart on me. So glue it just a little bit, give it a little bit of, um, you know, some love and some strength. <laughs> <laughs> but when you get it done, it's so beautiful. And you don't have to water this one either. <laughs> exactly. Are just, just that. So we're just going to pull that right through. And if you can't get it through the first time, just wiggle it. Just try and wiggle it around. And then I just smashed mine down just a little bit. Okay. So it just has that little smashed look. It looks great. And now what I did was I cut out some flowers. So we either have a flower like this, or I use the template flower. So this flower right here is the template flower right there. Okay. And we use two of them. So let me get you one that has a, a middle to it. And I even did some in a darker green, but you can do something that matches. Oh, cute. So what so, did you do here? What I used for the gold pieces is I just use a pearl pen. So I got this at my local craft store. And what I did was I just daubed it on, hmm. just like that. So um, you can put that on. Okay. You can actually put a pink one on the bottom of yours too. We can Add glue some that contrast. On. Oh, that looks adorable. So if you want, go for it. I will glue that for you and you can glue that right on. So like I say, you, you get these dies and then you create what you want. So color schemes. And it looks so pretty. Everything. Look at that. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Cute. And then I'm gonna take my little flower that has Can the gold and it's cute? already dry. But I mean, look how very easy. nice. Stagger it's so the fast petals. to make. Oh my word, it's super fast. It's a 3D cactus right here. It is here. a 3D. It's a barrel cactus and it's 3D. But the really neat thing about this is you could put it in a jar, you could put it in a bowl, you mm. could put it in a garden box. My garden box actually over here on the um, display has real dirt in it. So I got peat moss. I put uh, some floral gorgeous. foam in it, put the peat moss on top, I let it dry, I put a paper towel on top, and, um, and then I just put my pieces in there. So there you go. And it looks adorable. Now this adorable. would make a perfect centerpiece, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, how could you use these dec this decoration? You could use it as a centerpiece. Yeah. Um, Anything you want. Weddings, succulent themed weddings are big now. Yes. yes, yes. And you can actually change the colors of anything you want. I'm like I'm saying the cactuses don't have to be an olive green. They can be a forest green. They can be a light green, a lime green. Totally up to you. That's the the fun about being creative is you just use your creativity in your mind and just go for it. That's right. Use the creativity in your mind and just go for it. Now, you might be asking though, where can I get these dice? And I'll tell you. Just go to mondomarkettv.com and you'll get, you'll see there the succulents die kit on sale during the next 24 hours. So now is the chance for you to get it. You can get all of the dies that you're gonna see in this demo, in this broadcast today for just 68.50. It's an amazing savings. Amazing. You're gonna get, you get the 3D uh, cactus die cut. You get the, the succulents die cut. You get the, the geometric holder one. You get the wreath. You get it all in this kit just for you. The succulents die kit. Check it out, mondomarkettv.com is where you want to go to get it. It's an amazing kit. You're going to make fabulous centerpieces, <laughs> fabulous uh, items for decoration. And you saw how quickly and easy. I mean, if mm -hmm. I can do it, I'm telling you, you can do it. You can do it, I promise. Yes. Promise. Okay. So what do you have there? We're going to do another craft. So I'm going to show you. Oh, this is cute. I like this. This one's really cute. So here's the template that we used. So okay. it's just this metal cactus, really easy. Don't worry about the dots in there. The dots are, their dots are there to help you, but it also leaves a tiny little imprint. But so same thing, put it into your uh, big kick or your Sizzix and then just pull it through, cut as many as you want, but you need two per cactus. By the way, by the way, Katie mm -hmm. said, hi, Shillin. Katie, Katie Storbo. Hi, how are you? Yes. Welcome. She's wonderful. <laughs> and yes, you guys, oh. if you have any questions, comments, you just want to say hi, use the chat box, send That's them in. awesome. Katie's awesome. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you. Okay. Put that over there. I'll put this over here. 
Okay, we have our two cactuses right there. All right. And um, so you've already cut them out. So you already have your die cut and you've already cut them out. So what you're going to do is on this at the very top, there is a slit. Oh. I don't know if you can see it. There's a tiny little slit there. Right. And there's a tiny little slit right here. Right here. In the middle, you have a dot. I don't know. Can you see that dot? Yes. So the dot right there, that is your cutting point. So you're going to take a pair of scissors. I'm going to give you a pair of scissors here. Okay. We're going to cut one end going up. Okay. Almost to that point. Almost to the hole? Yeah. I didn't go completely all the way because I wanted to make sure that it didn't, um, when I put it through, that it doesn't, it's not too loose. Gotcha. Because when it's loose, it's really hard to glue. Okay. And then the next one, you're going to cut from the top down. Okay. So again, this is kind of like what we did in grade school when we made crafts. And almost to the hole. Almost to and the hole. And you just use the little markings on the top and right. the bottom to guide you. Right. And then if you want, you don't have to, but if you want, take your little tool okay. and on the back side, pop those little holes out. Oh. That gives your cactus a little more dimension. It's gives really it fun. a little bit of a yeah, it's just a really it gives nice a character. Look. Yeah. So it kind of gives it like the little pokies that you see in the cactuses out in the, out in the desert. So I'm just going to quickly do this because it is a lot of fun. I like how it looks. And I did it in some of the ones that I have uh, over in my display because I thought, oh, that's just brilliant how they did that. So, it looks super cute. Yeah, and it just, I mean, you can see the difference between the two. So here's one that's been poked out, and here's one that's just plain. So yes. I like the poked out. It gives it a little bit of it. I like look. the po poked out as well. Yes. But go from the back to the front because if you do it from the front, all your pokers are going to be on it. You're going to get a different illusion. Yeah, it will look exactly right. But And these tools are so fun because they're so easy. And I'm going to show you another little trick that you can do with them. It's fabulous because it's... It's already done for you, basically. You just have to done. enjoy yes. the process and get creative right. about it. Now, the cool thing about all of these dies is you can actually make cards out of these. You can do 3D cact or 2D and then have the, the, you know, the cactuses be on a card. So, or the little cactus or the barrel cactus. So I'm just going to put this together. And because here's where I didn't go all the way down, I just need a little bit more to make it go all the way down. So I'm going to take it out. Oh, so wait a minute. Oh, yes. you, did you cut both? I cut both. So I did the bottom and the top. Okay, bottom and the top. So yours needs to just be one. This will go to the, the circle. Okay. And then your next one will have, you'll use, will go like this. Uh-huh. Nope, you'll go like this. Like this. So I cut, yes. so then I basically just go... Don't you love live craft shows? Yay. Okay. But I'm going to add, I've got to cut mine just a little bit more to make sure that mine will go down. So just, just like this. And it is kind of rough. And you can put a little dab of glue at the top. And what's really exciting is, let's see, I just, you have your little cactus. Very cute. So cute. And then what you can do, if you're putting these in a floral, you could take one of these skewers and you can glue it into the corner right, right here. So glue it like this. Oh. And then um, once you've got it all situated, you glue it, cut this off, and you can poke it right into your floral. And that's how you make a floral pick. And would you glue the, these two pieces together? The, um, the you can yes you can glue them right together just to make so they yes. although they stay here pretty sturdy as it is they do but I've glued most of mine just because I like things to stay together okay but um so there you go there's your little cactus super so adorable easy. cactus I mean do you know look at gonna, this guy let me show you one more trick with the cactus Ooh, okay I just just thought of this okay so on these little tools that we bought there are tools and I'll give you this one that are just small and rounded so they look kind of like this. Okay. You take it, hold your paper, and rough up the edges. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh. I'm just roughing the edges up. 
Okay, and why are we doing this? Because we're gonna distress this. Oh. So we're gonna add just a little bit of color to it. I see. And I'll just... Gives it a little more character. Yes, and I used um, Distress Ink. I love this stuff. So like on this one is a darker green. So right there. So you just want to pull that open. Okay. And all you're going to do is you're just going to take it, put it onto your craft. Okay. And just go like this oh, to the sides. In the, in, in the areas that you distressed. Yep. Everything that you sanded, put it onto the sides. You can do a little bit at the top. You can age it. And there's all different colors of distressing ink. So you can choose all kinds, depending oh, on what, a, what kind of green you use too. So you can add browns to it. You can add red tones and orange tones to it. So just give it a oomph. Give it a little oomph, Oh, man. let me see that. So, I got to so try your, distressing. Try your hand at that. So like even um, I did blue cactuses. So you don't have to stick with just green. You can do whatever your decor wants you to do. Whatever, is whatever in your heart, floats your boat. Whatever floats your boat, you do it. You can't do it wrong, and it's a fun way to just create and relax. Stuff. It's a fun way to create and relax. I love. And I mean, look how crafting. adorable this is. Yeah, it's just a baby cactus. Exactly. Exactly. So okay. let's see. I'm even going to put this in here. I love this centerpiece that you've made. Right here, it looks so adorable. And that was so beautiful. It looks beautiful. Easy. That's so easy. I mean, I went to my local craft store. The the garden pot was on sale. I mean, I took peat moss from my gardening stuff. So perfect. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. You know, crafts don't have to be that expensive. Yeah, so by the way, you guys, don't forget to go to mondomarkettv.com to get your dice. Check out the succulent die kit that we have on sale during the next 24 hours. You can actually get all of these dies, die cuts separately if you'd like, if you already have one or another. But you get a, there's a cool deal of a kit where you get all of them together. So I encourage you to do that. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to okay. get yours today, okay? All right, another project. Let's do this. Okay, so if you'll hand one of those um, little cactuses right there, yep, Ooh, with ah. the flower. <laughs> Just kidding. They're so cute. They're adorable. I love, the, the, I love this. Okay, these are really fun. These were actually a blast to make, and I probably will make like 40 or 50 and put them in my house. And my poor husband will be like, oh. But um, I'm going to show you how to make these really quick. Here are the dies. So this is it. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Yes, this is it. Now this doesn't actually look like the spikes, and I'll show you why. So this is what it die cuts. It's a little, um, like a little moon shape, but it has little pokes on it. So on the inside, that's where you have all the little cuts. So when you look at it at first, you might be like, that's, that's not the right thing, but it is, I promise. And when I cut it on my paper, I usually cut it exactly like this. So when I cut, I'll do just like that. Um, but I, the reason why I do that is because I cut the excess from my extra paper. So if I have another color, I can mismatch it because like we're going to put green into these. And um, if I have a teal, I could put teal into this, this bluer color. So that's by the way, if you have any questions, any comments for Shalene, send them in. We're monitoring it on mondomarkettv.com or Facebook or YouTube, wherever you'd like. Just send in your comments and questions. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to have you. Okay. I know. So you've got 10. So you're going to need to cut out 10 of these um, little cactus bodies. So line all 10 of those up. Okay. And I will line mine up. And what we're going to do is we are going to glue on the outer edge all of the edges. And you need 10 and 10. Okay. So 10 edges, 10. I think they look like pumpkins, but that's just me. <laughs> they kind of do, they actually. They kind of do. So let's count you out. 10 of these. 10 of those. OK. Is that 10? Okay, and then what I want to do is, I lose track. I want to um, glue the sides. So you're going to take the pointy part up, the pointy part right here, 
you're, that's going to be at the top of your circle or your, your cactus body. So you're going to glue everything at the top. Okay. So I'm going to grab mine right here. And do I put, uh, and here's a trick. Mm, do I like tricks. Just do it right here. So I do it on my cactus. Do it on your cactus and just do it right there. And just a itty bitty. Yes. Okay. And then do it to all of them. Sounds so good. So we're going to, we're going to whip this, this little puppy out. Whip and it, it good. Whip it good, man. And the cool thing about these little cactuses, these would be like a really cool invitation to give to someone if they were coming to your house, like Katie and her husband. <laughs> they could come to my house and have like a little barbecue or something, a little Southwestern barbecue, and it would just be really cute. Oh, Katie, I think that sounds like an I invitation. Know. They're awesome people, but, um, and she's very crafty too. So everybody has these crafting talents, and I just love it because you can just do so many things. Plus, this would make for a fun girls' night out. Yes, and you could eat too. <laughs> which would be great. So we're just going to keep loading this up and then just plop it right there on top. And what's really fun about this cactus is, and I'm going to do it on the paper. It's easier to do it on the paper than to try and sit and take hot glue and put it on your, um, see the little hairs? They're great. Yeah, I know. This has so much character to it. And the really um, fun thing about, I like about this cactus is, um, you know, when you're doing themes and things like that, these are, I mean, they're cute all year round, so you don't really have to worry about what season it is. But see, so far, you know, you've got yours. And the glue, like I say, be patient with the glue because the glue takes just a little bit longer. Make sure your points that have at least the four points are on the top. Those are the ones that make the little spikes come out. So we want to make sure those are on the top. And then we just go again. I mean, look how fast Nash and I are doing this. I know. I mean, it's not like rocket scientists. You could even get your husbands, your wives, your friends, whomever to come and help you do things like this. Simple. And these would be cute on a wreath on your door. So yes. I think for a little 3D wreath, that would be awesome. So we just have a couple more here. All right, almost there, one more. And like I say, hot glue dries fast. The regular glue takes just a little while longer, but it's still doable. So don't worry, if you don't like the hot glue gun, don't worry about it, get yourself some really good glue. Cool. All right. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to talk while you're doing that. Do it. I'm see? almost done. You are good. So see, I went a little bit further on this one than I should have. So I need to take this off. Oh, wait, wait. Show us what you're doing because this I might happen at home to them so too. So I took this off and look, the paper does rip. I promise it does. I went a little too high. So I want to make sure that, that I am doing it the right way. And like I said, you can pull stuff off, just be really, really careful. And it is really hot. If the glue goes over, that's okay. So now we're going to fold all these in half, just like that. Okay. So let's fold them all, just like that. Because see what we're making? is this. So let's fold them in half. And to make it easy, the die imprints the half point for yeah. you on the paper. Everything's measured. Everything <laughs> is done. Basically. I love that because then you're not wasting time trying to measure things out. I'm trying to figure to it just out. Do it. These are what I call go for it crafts because it's like, just go for it. Just do it and see, yes. what, it, see what it turns out to be. And um, I know when I was making the wreath, I had my daughter was just ex so excited because that was the colors that matched her house, hint, hint. Oh, and don't you guys so, do like wreaths every season or something we, together? We do wreaths together. We create all kinds of stuff with my other daughter and um, 
We have a lot of fun. So yes. this is a great girls' night with your daughters if you have daughters. This is not just a die cut. This no. is a bonding tool. This is a total bonding <laughs> tool. So I've got all of mine folded. Now what I'm going to show you is we are going to actually glue it in the middle here. So I'm going to run a little bit of glue okay. right there. And then I'm going to just do this. Do you see what I did? I just glued it right together. There's your spikes. There's your points. So you just fold it back up. And you're going to glue it again. The flat part right here is the bottom. So make sure all your bottoms are, to, are the same exact or your, your um, cactus won't stand right. So we're going to glue it again. And then we're just going to take the bottom piece right here. And I'm going to go just like that. So we're going to do this to all of them. And um, when you're done, you have that complete barrel look. It's really fun. And you know, the cool thing about these is if you're doing them for a centerpiece for a party, put glitter on them. Do some glitter, spice it up, do something, you know. You can do all kinds of things. That's a really cool thing about the dyes is, you know, you can even use glitter paper and make these out of glitter paper. I mean, it would be kind of cool looking, but it would just have a nice look to it. And a little more fancy, so if you're doing something fancy. So, almost there. So really all you're doing is just fold and glue, fold and glue, fold and glue. So I'm gonna do one more. How are you coming? I'm coming. You're doing good. She's my crafty partner, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. I promise. Crafts are easy if we don't think too hard about them. Craft, yes, and if you have the right tools. Yep, tools and, you know, sometimes people look at kits and they think, oh, I can't do that. Absolutely, yes, you can do that. Yes. Um, for two reasons. First of all, everything is lined up for you in the kits. So the only thing you have to do for, like, the templates is buy your own paper, which is fine. But... Um, the second is they're easy. These are so easy. Okay, so I've got everything glued together. Okay. And I'm going to glue the last piece. And um, if you use a smaller glue gun, it's easier. Just for time's sake, I have a bigger one, but right here. So there you go. Very cool. There's your cactus. And you can add a flower to the top if you want. Ooh. You can put a little flower right there. Super cute. There you go. Yes. So glue that one and on you there. can color coordinate your flowers and get your themes and going and all that. You get this adorable, look at that. Look at you. Adorable <laughs> barrel cactus. Yep. And I love the, the little detail of the, I, the pokies. The little pokies. Yes, so cool. You know, even um, I was thinking about doing one of these with glow in the dark green paint. Oh, that so sounds fun. Night, if you did the the little sides and then you just painted your little spikes with glow in the dark paint. Uh -huh. Fabulous. Very nice. Fabulous. Very cool. And this all done with the Sizzik die cuts that you can get at mondomarkettv.com. Just go there on sale today. Uh, during the next 24 hours, you can get the kit includes, um, the kit includes the barrel cactus, which is this one that you just saw. It includes the 2D and 3D cactus, uh, which I believe are these, right? Mm -hmm. That we did together. Um, you get the geometric holder and the succulent wreath die. So all of it together together in a beautiful kit. Just go to mondomarkettv.com so to get it. So uh, easy. Go there. Super easy to make. Bonding. Great bonding tool. So much fun. Relaxing. Awesome. 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 We bond every time we do a craft together. It's we really totally cool. do. It's we really so do. Cool. Yes. And here you're seeing this is the wreath the that wreath. you can make. Yes. Similar process as what we've been doing, correct? Yes. But what happens with the wreath is Everything is already in the kit. Your paper, it's already cut out. All you have Ooh. to do is pop it out. Oh, nice. So easy. There's um, a corrugated cardboard that's your wreath part, that you, the base that you glue everything onto. So what I did was I popped all the flowers out. 
I made them all, I rolled them, used my little tools, just like we were talking about, these little tools. And um, what I did was I decided for the kit that I did, there was a couple flowers that I didn't want. I'm gonna use them in something else. Ah. So I didn't put them in. But um, you can start adding more if you want or less. You don't have to follow the kit exactly, but what's fabulous about the kit is you can rearrange it any way you want. You can put things in there that, that you like. I even added gold to the flowers instead of just leaving them plain. I put little gold pearls oh, from that paint. Yes. So it works out really good. And then um, there were some leftover ferns that I decided, huh, okay, I can do something with these, but I didn't want them coming clear out of the wreath. So I decided I'll just do half of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Nashla do this. Oh boy. She loves putting me on the spot. I love putting her on the spot because she's <laughs> really good. She's really good at what she does. <laughs> so this, you can just poke a couple into the... Like somewhere the over here like that? Yeah, just somewhere. And you can start adding like things like this into the wreath. So if you want four or five in a bunch, you can put them down at the bottom anywhere. Anywhere you want. But this is what they come. They're already pre-cut. So really, you spend Easy. very little time prepping and cutting mm. and doing the boring things. Yes. And just you spend most of your time just creating and making things pretty. Creating. There's the key is you're creating. You spend most of the time having fun, essentially. Right. So when you purchase the kit, what I want you to do is to sit down and look at the, the pattern that you're going to create. And can you hand me that one with the box real quick? This one right here? Yes. Yes. So like on this. Um, How about all of them? We can take them all. <laughs> so on this one right here, I decided because I didn't want such a small box, I wanted to expand it. So you can move from this pattern, you can move it and do anything you want. So if you only want three succulents, do three just like they said. I think I have nine. Ooh. So you can do anything you want, just put your creative juices to work and create. That is the most fabulous thing you could do. And then it's not wrong. Yes. It's your style. It's yours. It's and yours. so this right here, for example, is the geometric holder that I've been yes. talking about. Yeah. Very nice. And you can see on this, on the other end, it comes with your dice for you to create pretty, pretty things. Pretty things. Yes, the geometric holder. Mm -hmm. So go to mondomarkettv.com today to grab your kit. I'm sure you'll want it because look, it's so pretty. You can make amazing things. Uh, you've seen it here and today. Things. I love it. Yes. I, I love this kit. I love everything about it. I think it's so fun. So when you buy the wreath kit, you can match your wreath to your succulents. You can uh, yes. match everything. You can make it all congruent so it matches your home. Yes. That's what's really fabulous. And if you have old jars at home, you have little vases at home, you can do little terrariums. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with these, and I, I really am very pleased with the turnout of. Me too. It looks beautiful. I love this piece right here. It's fun. It's super fun. By the way, Rexy said, Nash, you have the best job getting to have such fun every day. <laughs> exactly, Rexy. Exactly. And she's um, fun to be with. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fun to be with. You're fun to be with. That's what makes it so much fun. So, um, any final comments that you have to our guests today? I just want you guys to enjoy everything about the process of creating what you want to create for your home. So between these kits and other kits that we'll have in the future, I'm excited to see what you create. And if you create something, yes. when you get these kits and you create it, send me a picture. I yes. would love to see your pictures. Definitely. Post them, in yes. fact, on, on uh, the Facebook group, the Curious Mondo Facebook group, I Love Arts and Crafts. Yes. Definitely post on there. We love it when you do. Yes. Because what that does is that, that shows us that you are proud of what you did and, and what you created. And we're proud of you because... By gosh, we all can do this and we all can create wonderful things. If I can do it, just you can do, do it, it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So just go to mondomarkettv.com to get your die cuts. Look at the succulent die kit. That's the one I want you to look at. Uh, it's a kit that comes with all of it. You'll have so much fun, so much fun doing it. Mondomarkettv.com is where you go. And we're, we're going to see you here, back here with us yes. next Monday, 2.30 p.m. So it's always at... Always on Monday, always at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 2.30 Mountain, 3.30 Central, 4.30 Eastern. <laughs> Just join us, mondomarkettv.com, and we'll see you next week for another Crafting with Shalin. Until then.